What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan Time here again from the Mighty Kingdom. And uh, got another uh, segment here for the collection. Um, so for the most part, you've seen the Mitchell Ness collection for the NBA. I got Sixers stuff, obviously, downstairs in the man cave that I got to share. Um, and I have one other uh, Swingman jersey that's in here on this rack. <laughs> But every other jersey on this rack is non Mitchell and Ness besides for that one. And I wanted to keep it on here so it go because it, it's I want to keep this player, you know, his his jerseys kind of together. But um so this rack here that I'm standing in front of is the non Mitchell and Ness NBA rack. Um, like I said, I got a lot of um, you know, retail authentic, swingman some custom stuff there are some jerseys on this rack that i'm not going to share today because i do want to do a separate vid because i have on order quite a few things from the candy man so i do have some of his others you saw you saw the bulls jerseys i have in north carolina mj jerseys i have by him but there's 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 other things here and there's a, many other things on the way. So once I get that, my plan is to put another rack in here, kind of move things around so I can do it. Put another rack in here, and it's going to be it's going to be the rack just devoted to all the customs that I acquire from from uh, from him. Uh, you know, over the years, not just not just now, but you know, over the years, you know, add to what I already have, the small little collection that I already have back here. But that's neither here nor there. It's just kind of extra, you know, you'd like to ramble on at times, but at least that's the plan. You know, we'll see. I still have to get, uh, you know, another Z bottom rack. I have to move some baseball because I have to move some football so I can get a rack. and Because I can't fit another Z bottom in here. That would be a little tricky. So it's just going to be a little smaller rack but like this guy. But uh, at least I can still fit a lot on it. But that's the plan. And hopefully, hopefully, if everything goes well, if everything goes according to plan, I'll have that video by the end of the year or early next year. So, yeah, just nothing but customs from this one one, one company that I, I like to refer to as the Candyman. So, you know, be on the lookout for that. But let's get to the merch right here, right? The things that I do want to share. Stands for a few things on this rack. But we're going to... We're going to start with the, uh, and I do have the Steph Curry collection. I want to do that vid too, but I still have yet to get that last jersey that I want to get prior to making the vid. Now there'll be other jerseys after that, but that, <laughs> once I get this one in, whenever I have to purchase it first, once I do and I get it in, and I do, want, like I said, I want to get a finals patch put on the back of another jersey I already have in hand. Once I do that, then I'll have the Steph Curry collection, and it's... It's a bit extensive, but <laughs> you'll be able to see it. Um, so let's get into what I what I can show, what I will show for this vid. The uh, again, the non Mitchell and Ness NBA. Uh, we're gonna start with the Miami Heat. I know the tags are still on. I still haven't worn it, but it's the uh, the Vice Knight D Wade Miami Heat. It's the swing man. You know, I don't have a lot of authentics. And it's really no rhyme or reason other than it's, you know, their sales and whatever, and I can just grab it, you know. Because I'm one of those collectors, as you know, that's a volume collector. You know, I get a bunch of stuff, whether it's custom, whether it's Mitchell and Ness, whether it's whatever it is. <laughs> I'm getting, you know, quite a, so I, I do look for the deal where I can. I do try to, you know, skim a bit where I can. And no disrespect to the Authentics. The Authentics of the Nike jerseys are really nice. I only have one in the collection. And um, it's a Curry jersey. But they're very nice. And they're very affordable. I do think the Authentics in these, are the Nike jerseys, are, are good price points. And I think other companies can learn a thing or two from that. In fact, Nike's one of them. They can learn that from baseball. But <laughs> some of the prices for their Authentic baseball jerseys, oh God. But I think NBA, they do it right. Uh, it's it's not too much more than, than a replica. It, 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 you know, is it still something that I'm going to go grab? Every single jersey I get is going to be authentic? No. But at, it, at the price point, and you can catch sales and stuff to get it a little cheaper. I, I do think, like I said, I think they do those right. But I have just the replicas and all of these. So, D-Wade... 
Um, I love these. Uh, the Vice Night jerseys that the Heat have done have been very nice, very Miami, you know, very specific for Miami, very colorful. And I do remember Miami Vice back in the day. So, <laughs> yeah, I did grow up in the 80s, too. So, yeah, I remember Miami Vice. But um, Ultimate Software. So I have the set of these, and I have them all with the ad sponsorship. I got them all off the Miami Heat shop online. And it's the only way you can get them with that ad sponsor. A lot of the uh, a lot of the team shops for the NBA is like the only way you can get their jerseys with the ad sponsor, whether it's Swingman or Authentic. It's really the only way you can get. Um, it's not something that's widely available like Fanatics, Fans Edge are all run by the same company. You know what I mean? But they don't have him. NBA shop doesn't have it with the ad sponsors, and you know I. As you can see from the, I, I do like extras on the jersey. So, you know, I'm I, I'm not a hater when it comes to the ad sponsors. I think some of them are very, are very cool and unique. And I'd like to get some jerseys with that ad sponsor for them. I haven't, but it's what it is. But yeah, Miami Heat with the uh, the Rakuten, the D Wade, uh, the Rakuten. That's the Warriors. See, I'm thinking ad sponsors. I'm thinking Warriors because most of the Warriors jerseys I get are from the Warrior Shop because it has the Rakuten. Ad sponsor, but of course Miami, it's Ultimate Software. So apologies on that, but yes, Ultimate Software. And like I said, I got the set of these. I got the white one. Some of these are harder to find now than others. The white one, I believe, was the first one they did, and then they did the black one the year later. But there's the again the Ultimate Software on there, and these are just these pop. These are really nice. I have the hats for them. Um, they're just. You know, they, they just, like I said, they, they, they hit the nail on the head with these, the Heat did. And I, I, I think all of them are winners so far. Be kind of interested to see what they do next year if they continue to do it. Because it's like, I don't know what other color they can really go with. <laughs> I mean, do they do an orange one next year? I don't know. But we'll see. Because um, they kind of ran through the, uh, the color gamut for them. But we'll see. Uh, of course, the pink. And again, Ultimate Software there. From the heat shop wade i remember i grabbed this like the day it became available because these jerseys are just so popular and i'm like i want to get one i want to get one with the ad sponsor so as soon as this thing became available on the heat shop um last year i grabbed it and then we have this one and and i know uh i know he's no longer he, he, he wasn't playing because he retired last season. So the pink one was really the last one D-Wade actually wore. But I did get the D-Wade in the in the, uh, the turquoise as well. Or, yeah, with the Ultimate Software. It's like a homage to him, you know. So the Heat, heat made it. So I picked it up. Because I wanted to get all of them in, you know, D-Wade. Because obviously you think Miami Heat, you think D-Wade. So why not, right? And then this guy... This was the uh, the city edition that the Bucks wore years ago, and hit the fan. It's the <laughs> uh, the Greek Freak, and it's the like the design. It's like the Mecca Court design. It's just a crazy jersey, and I didn't get it from the Buck shop, so it doesn't have the Harley Davidson. It'd be nice if it did. This was a Fanatics pickup years ago, but I just really like it. You know, it, it pops. And just the crazy colorway. It's almost like the old Astros jerseys with those colors. <laughs> but very unique for the Bucks. So I had to grab that one when I when it was available. Alright. So this jersey I've had a long time. I had this when he was playing. Of course, you know, rest in peace to Kobe. This is the replica Reebok. But the... Uh, the white alternate Lakers jersey with the big shoulders that they wore back then, or at least that the, how they made this replica jersey back then. Um, might be kind of tricky to get this back on there, but I got a lot, you know this 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 rack is like packed. They got a lot of jerseys like in it, so you'll bear with me as I get these on and off. And I got a replica number eight, Kobe. Swingman, basically, number eight. 
So that would be an early Kobe jersey, you know, from that uh, style of the jersey, anyhow. And and I got the replica Adidas Swingman Nike or Adidas Swingman 24. A little tired, so <laughs> I'm not thinking the the greatest right now. But I wanted to knock this vid out because I've been promising it for quite a while. And I don't really go after collegiate jerseys as much as I would like the pro jerseys, but I do have a little collection. Most recently, the one I got was the Iverson Georgetown Mitchell Ness, but Dr. J, Massachusetts. Very nice jersey. These were produced years ago. Uh, yeah, 2934 Vintage Sportswear, no American Collection. There's the jog tag. And they produced these years ago, and they were very, you know, accurate to how the teams wore it and all. It's it's not Mitchell and Ness, but it's close to, you know, as close to Mitchell and Ness as you're going to get for a company that's not Mitchell and Ness. As far as just the overall look of the jersey, the quality, you know, the of the old run Mitchell and Ness stuff. I got this one, which I'm real happy to have. The LSU Pistol Pete, same company made this. Maravich, 23. The home jersey. It even has the name and, and year. 68-69 uh, Pistol Pete LSU jersey, the home jersey. And I wanted to keep the, uh, you know, obviously the teams together. So got this LSU Shack, which is really nice. This was done by Retro Brand in recent years, and they really, I, this, this, I really think they hit the nail on the head with it. I, and I wish I got the others because they made the, they made the gold one and they made the white one, and I only got the purple one. But it's really nice. It's screened on. As the, the Tigers wore it back then, and Shaq wore it back then in college, everything's screened on. Really nice jersey. And like I said, it's a retro brand. Doesn't have a jock tag, but it has the tag on the inside. Right there. It's beautiful. I really like this. Like I said, I wish I got all the whole set. But I only got the purple one. And this was a uh, Fanatics pickup a couple year, uh, some years ago. And I know since they've made, you know, quite a few collegiate jerseys. But back then they were only making like one or two players a year. And now they make, you know, they make quite a few of them. Though I don't know if the quality is the same anymore. I don't have one. I've seen them in the stores. They look good. I'm, you know, they're, they're better quality than some other jerseys that I see that are available now. But uh, that qual the quality that from, from where it was to where it is now, I don't think it's exactly the same. So... Because they seem to more mass produce them now. And like I said back then, they were just pumping out like a jerk, like a player or two a year. Like I think when they made the Shack, then they made like a Steve Kerr, Arizona. You know, they made various, but they wouldn't make a lot of. Now they just make a ton of players. You know, so it is what it is. And this one, uh, this is my uh, Clyde Drexler University of Houston Cougars. Jersey by Slamma Jamma. Had to have at least one Cougars jersey in the collection. I want a Hakeem too. I think Hakeem would be cool to have, but Drexler is the one I have for now. The only one representing that university. And I did not get the Mitchell Ness version. I still, I still feel that, although Candyman might be able to help me. Because um, this is the Nike version, though. This is the UNLV Larry Johnson Grandmama number four. It's stitched. I mean, obviously, the, the actual the Mitchell Ness or whatever customer, whatever else is going to be pressed on. 
as the Rebels wore, uh, you know, those years. But the Nike version, they just did the generic stitching. You know, it's basically a Swingman jersey, but it's, you know, because I didn't get the Mitchell Ness one, and finding the Mitchell Ness one is really hard, you know, because those, those were, those were, that was a good mover for them. They, they, they did go with that one. And then they wouldn't make a collegiate jersey again for quite some time for basketball until Iverson this, this year. All right. Let me see. All right. So there was this guy who I was getting some custom stuff done by, and he no longer does it. And um, I got a handful of stuff from him. I think he did really nice work, and it was cheap. The jerseys were not very very pricey, but um, I think he just got overwhelmed. I think a lot of people started reaching out to him, and it just, yeah, it, 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 it didn't, it didn't, it, it, you know, he just stopped, you know, he just stopped. I mean, he was in the group, and, uh, you know, he just stopped for whatever reason. I, again, I think he was a bit overworked there, or maybe life happens, you know. You just go from having a real passion about something, and then it's just, you know, particularly if you have to do it for, like, work or whatever, but so I only got a handful of stuff, and the jerseys, uh, the material, it's, it's not bad. It's, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it, it's just, just a, you know, regular material, just a mesh. It's almost like a swingman type of material, but, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice jersey. Um, so I got this one from him, Byron Scott, the Road Lakers. Shout out to the Lakers winning the championship, number 17. Because there was no jock tags or anything. He didn't have anything. He didn't have a logo, a jock tag. He just would put the jersey together. And, uh, but I like it, you know? I mean, you know, I think it looks pretty good. Of course, no NBA logo because there was none at that time until later years. But Byron Scott, Lakers, Road, Showtime. And at the time, I picked some players that I knew Mitchell and Ness at that time hadn't made. So I got the Road Byron Scott. And, I, and then I got the home AC Green. Showtime. Years. Like I said, very nice. You know, quality's nice. And, you know, these are pretty cheap. I mean, I didn't pay a lot, you know, to get these done. And I think he did a nice job. But like I said, I think it's a shame he no longer does them. I've, even, I've, I've tried reaching out to him once. Never heard back, so, you know, but hey, I mean, I got what I got. You know, it worked out. I got my home and away Bobby Jones Sixers jerseys from him because I couldn't I couldn't find the Mitchell Ness ones. They're just very hard to get. I got these Lakers done by him, and he told me he was working on this one. And I said, all right, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take that because, again, this is one. I know Mitchell Ness did a – did a swingman of it recently, but the authentic in this and Mitchell Ness, they made it years ago and it's very hard to get. So he was doing it, so I grabbed it from him, Bernard King. Nix, that big name on the back. I even think Mitchell Ness doesn't like that. <laughs> but um, that's how the Knicks had him that time period. So like I said, man, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got it from him. I mean, it's one that, you know, I, mean, I know Mitchell Ness made their swingman version of it recently. Even they made an authentic many years ago that just near near impossible to get it never shows up on 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 ebay or very rarely i should say so you know i had a chance at getting it from him and he was nice enough to offer me one and i took it and this is years ago this is like goodness it has to be at least three years ago now and in fact i got the the king when i because i got these two done it was kind of the the king's patch package because i got that one and then I got these two done. These are ones that I had asked him to do. Sacramento Kings, Mitch Richmond, because Mitchell Ness hasn't done these. And these are, I mean, you just don't see them very often. Richmond, the the road, and then the home. Those of you who remember my older videos in the, the other room, you would, you would see these kind of hanging in the back. And I always got questions like, man, where'd you get that Richmond? Where That Richmond's driving me nuts and stuff. I'm like, you know, it was, it was a custom jersey. Um, and if Candyman does my I want Lionel Simmons. <laughs> so, hey, Candyman, if you're watching, yeah, that's going to be a down the road. L Train and the Kings. I know he's done them before, so. <laughs>
I don't have a lot of, um, oh goodness, I don't have a lot of champion replicas, but this one I got, um, Sean Kemp Cavs. This is the uh, champion replica from back in the day. Excuse me. They had two runs of these. The, the initial run that they did, this is Splash, of course, the Splash Cavs. So the initial run that they did of this, they put a very small little splash <laughs> there on the jersey. And then I guess this is in a, this is in a, uh, this is like the second run of it where they were a little more detailed. So the splash kind of does go just about around the jersey as it should. As we know back then, Champion didn't always make them, you know, to look specific <laughs> with the specs, how they look on the court. But um, they would later do that. Be a little more detailed. The Suns, the Fireball is another one. Like you see, you see some versions of those champion replicas is a little Fireball, and then you got the other ones that the, it looks like the actual jersey. Like the Fireball goes the way it should on the jersey. So there's different, you know, versions of the champion replicas. And. This is an authentic. This is a starter authentic. This, um, this is an upper deck. There's the jack tag signed by Kemp. The hologram. There you see his signature, and the number. What's this one one eleven of one eighty? Mitchell Ness. I don't know what you're waiting on <laughs> to get a Sean Kemp splash cabs done, but. So this is a starter authentic, uh, signed by Kevin. I'm not. I'm not into autographed jerseys. I'm, I'm. I'm really not. But this one was on eBay years ago, and I got it because the autograph I don't think takes away from the the jersey. I mean, you really, you'd have to like be up close to even see it. And just how he signed it, it, it you know, it, it just to me, it just doesn't take away from it. You know, you can still, you know. Still see that pretty good. Because you get some autographed jerseys and it's like the signature's all over, you know, the number or the logo or something. And and people that that's what people collect and that's awesome. For me, I don't I don't really go after autographed jerseys. I, I did for this because I wanted this one so badly, the splash home calves. And it's the only way I can get it. And I know years later Mitchell and Ness will make a blank in this. What was it? I just dawn or something like that. Four hundred dollars for a blank. But there was actually someone that got their jersey done by Candyman into Bob Sura. And, uh, you know, like this is the one I have, and, you know, I'm happy with it. But the the road version of this, Candyman and I, we're going to talk. <laughs> ah, so this, this next one here, um, you know... We all have these stories. We all have these reasons that these little seeds that got put in our brain, you know, why we collect, what really was. So many years ago, back at Lower Marion, when Kobe was there, but back in Lower Marion, and way back in 1993, when yours truly was a freshman, um, there were these two brothers from Seattle. The family was from Seattle. They moved to this area, and the two the, the two brothers were going to we're going to Lower Marion. Uh, the one was not tremendously into sports. I think he was a Giants fan. So I remember he had a Giants t-shirt. But he really wasn't, you know, he was more in the music than sports. But his brother was more of the sports guy. Now you have to remember, back in the 90s, people weren't wearing authentic jerseys, for the most part. They really weren't wildly, you know, widely available as they would be today. Um, they're just, everyone was wearing replicas. Champion, starter, Whatever, Nike, Adidas, whoever made them back then. That's that's what people were wearing. They were not wearing Authentics, Mitchell and Ness, any of that stuff, throwback stuff. It just wasn't a thing And th th back in 93, at least from what I can remember. Um, so, but this one guy, again, from Seattle originally, he would come to school and, and I would see him in the halls. I was even walking behind him once. He had an authentic... Cortez Kennedy Seahawks jersey on and I'll always remember that one but the other one that I remember and this is this is how this little seed was planted in my brain so I was at lunch and I'm sitting there at the table and I got a champion replica 
home Sean Kemp Sonics jersey on. Now, as I said before, with the champion replicas, they weren't always done <laughs> specifics to the team, right? They, but they were just done. So the Sonics jerseys back then, they, the name on the front and back was Arc, but it didn't have the graphic. It didn't have that beautiful, you know, graphic that you see on those Sonics jerseys. So the guy, I'm sitting there eating lunch. The guy walks by. <laughs> it's just so ironic. He's wearing an authentic champion white, home white Sean Kemp jersey. And it's got the whole, the low, everything, the design, every, and, and, and I look, and we both make eye contact. And it's the only time this guy, we ever spoke a word to each other. <laughs> Throughout all the, the time that I that I that I saw him there, right? But he walked by me, and I'll never forget this. He walked by me. He looked at you know my jersey, and he went and he looked at his, and he said, "Oh yeah, it's authentic." And he kept walking. <laughs> and it's there's just something about that that when I saw that jersey now 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 keep in mind it would still be many years later that I would start really collecting collecting jerseys. You know, I always got them to wear and just. I like the player, I like the look of the thing, you know, whatever. But I really wasn't collecting them to collect. I was collecting them just, you know, because, you know, young and impressionable, right? So, but for whatever reason, that I, I never forgot that. That little seed got put in the, in the back of my brain to store later in the file cabinet. And here we are years later, and I'm standing in a room with just Authentic and Mitchell and Ness and all these various different jerseys. So I would imagine, I don't know, I never spoke to these, <laughs> these brothers again. Don't know what happened with them. I have no idea. Um, but I would imagine if he were to come here today <laughs> and take a little trip with me up here. <laughs> I don't think he's saying anything to me. <laughs> I probably have Seattle jerseys that that guy doesn't have, okay? So, but I tell you that story to show you this. Because all these many years later, I got this actually a few years ago, but, and let me tell you something. Oh yeah, it's authentic. <laughs> so this is the jersey. Now I got this from the Ramirez boys on eBay years ago, but this, this is the champion authentic home, Sean Kemp. Just like the guy was wearing, just like we made eye contact and he was wearing this. <laughs> and here we are many years later, I got one too, and oh yeah, it's authentic. <laughs> so there it is. I just think it's so funny. Of all the jerseys, this is probably the one that got the little seed planted in the back of my brain. You know, I, I never did get that Cortez Kennedy. I got actually the, the, the legacy line, Mitchell and S one, but I never got an authentic Cortez. But Kemp, this Sonics jersey, this is one of my all-time favorite jerseys. The style, the home or away. Love this. I loved it back then. I love it now. I just, it, it just, all day. And as many of these things as I can get, if it's replica, if it's a custom or whatever, there, don't worry. There'll be others. <laughs> so, all right. So these heaters here, yeah, these are ones that people have clamored. And I remember I used to, you know, Mitchell and Ness, when they, they would always, every now and then, I should say they would ask on social media, what do you want us to make? What do you want us to see? What do you want to see us make? And I've told them this in the store. I said, why in the world have you never made this? Including the early years where the Warriors were like the big team, right? They they never made this. And I don't know, maybe it's just the team that one made or Latrell. I have no idea. But this... Yeah, this is it. This makes you want to choke a coach, huh? So this is the this is the starter authentic Latrell Sprewell Warriors lightning bolt jersey. Remember I told you before about the uh, when I got the Bob McAdoo Pistons with the two the, the dual lightning bolt that was similar to, in style. There it is. There's the bolt. This is before they had the little Gatorade bolt on the back. <laughs> so uh, this this is how they kind of started that colorway and style and. Uh, Oh, come on. Now you tell me. Mitchell and S makes this. Even in swingman form, they make this. How quick are they staying on the website, right? Not very quick. <laughs> They'll probably be big big sellers for them. People want this jersey. Jock tag. Starter authentic. People want this jersey. 
I got this jersey. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you come near me, you try again, I'll choke you. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> with with the kung fu grip. <laughs> but this is so awesome. I love this. Um, I know the candy man might be doing some. There's a couple other players I want to get this in. Rez, shout out to you. I know you got your eyes. I know you got your eyes on him. <laughs> I can't wait to see all this stuff, Rez. Oh my goodness. I mean, he, he to, to me, in our community, he's Mr. Warriors, okay? So, Rez holds it down in the Bay Area very well. I know Rez is, like, salivating looking at these. He's just waiting for his moment, right? Yeah. Come on now. You know I have to have the home version, too. There it is. Lightning bolt. So on this, man. I'm telling you. They need us jersey heads to tell them what they should make. <laughs> so there's, and it's screened on. The the logo, the Warriors is screened on. 15, and same on the blue. Uh, tri uh, triple stitching. And then the single stitched. And then for the name, triple stitching again for the for the number. But the lightning bolt is also screened on. Ooh, these things are... <sighs> these, these things, these things pop, man. These are... Yeah, I know. They're they're heaters, man. Mitchell Ness, they I tell you, they need to consult with us every now and then, you know? We know what's good. Um so this one I still have to get the finals patch. Put it on there, but I got the Shack. Shack Daddy right there, Miami Heat. Authentic. Like I said, I do want to get the finals logo on there for when they, he won his title in Miami. But this man was the MVP of the finals, so I have to get that one. I have to get that. I have to get two finals patches, one for Shaq and one for D-Wade, because they were these when they won the championship in Dallas. They were the alternate Reds. So I want to get the finals patch for that, too, for Mitchell Ness makes it. I'm going to beat him. <laughs> and they made, I have the, uh, the J, the, I have the white chocolate that they did. They also did the, the black, the road black version for Shaq. They didn't do the red one, though. I'm gonna beat him. I'm telling you, all I need is the logo. When I get the when I get the patch, is going on there. <laughs> I can see it now. Walk into the store. That oh, that's a good idea. And like a month later, or a couple months later, you'll see them pop them out. Yeah, I know. Trendsetter. I try. Anyhow, this one they did make, but around the time that they made it, I got the authentic version. So I didn't need the Mitchell Ness version. This is the Reebok authentic. Mello, basically his rookie jersey with the Denver Nuggets. Nice jersey, that powder blue, you know, pops, or light blue. Shout out to Mac, of course. Those, those Hornets from back then in Charlotte. Got the Glenn Rice, sharpshooter, right there. This is an authentic, another starter authentic. Charlotte Hornets. Love the old jock tags with the logo and everything on them. Pinstripes are supp supplemented on as well as the trim on the side. But everything else is uh, double stitched. Charlotte, 41. Rice, 41. And this is like a more later version of this jersey. Because it, it has those side panels. There you got the, the look at the trim there. But just an iconic jersey. And I got Mad Mash right here. Jamal Mashburn. The Road Teal Hornet. Same style as the Glen Rice. Only in uh, Road format. With the supplemented... Uh, Side panels, of course, the uh, pinstripes, Charlotte, everything else is double stitched, name and number. And this one's a champion. This is a, if it wants to settle here, this is a champion authentic dual tagged. That's how they made their authentics. I don't have, like I said, I don't have a lot of authentics, but I have, I have a few. I have a few. I've just never been a huge, like, 
You know, I mean, the collection is always going to be dominated by Mitchell Ness. That's just how it's going to be. I've never been a huge, like, authentic jersey. I have to have all these authentics. You know, if there's ones that just catch the eye or ones like players or teams or something that I just, I have to get, I'll, I'll do so. But for the most part, I mean, you know, you, you, you can tell what, what, what's most in here. <laughs> there might be some customs, though. Might, might try to rival Mitchell and Ness in, in, in a few years, but... uh you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, all right? Man, shout out to the guy. I think this guy should have been the finals MVP. I know it went to Braun, but Anthony Davis balled out. This is a rookie jersey. It's a swingman, but New Orleans Hornets. So, I forget, I may have even got this as a rookie year. Um... Now, like I said, this is an Adidas um, replica, but the guy looks like he's going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Nice to have his rookie jersey. I do want to get his Lakers one at some point. The brow. This one, this is one of my favorites because I'm a festive person. I like holidays and different stuff. And so the team, you know, the, the, the one of the first holiday themed jersey that a team did was the New Orleans Hornets. They did the Mardi Gras. This was the first ever Mardi Gras jersey. Now it's an Adidas replica, the Authentics. The, 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 the sellers are just crazy. They, they, they want so much for the Authentics. It's just nuts. But so I got this one a bit back on eBay. And I like it. Hornets logo, of course, in the Fleur de Lis. I like the, uh, I just like the overall design of this. You got the crazy uh, side trim going down there, and that pattern, the Mardi Gras pattern. You know, you got the purple in the front, you got the green in the back, you got all the Mardi Gras colorway, and the and the yellow, of course, going through it. Um, and then the jock tag says Mardi Gras right there. Very nice jersey, hard to get. And even though it's a it's a swingman, these are still hard to get. Mitchell Ness hasn't done them to this point. The other one I want is the Valentine's Day one. And I know that's been one that's been clamored for for Mitchell Ness. So I always said if they do it, they should release it on Valentine's Day. I will get it. This is one that I want. I have a little CP3 uh, uh, Hornets collection. You know, I, I did like him. I have his Clippers jersey somewhere, I, uh, the you know, Swingman. I do want to get his Thunder jersey with the ad sponsorship, with that Loves sponsorship right there. The, Horn, the, the Thunder wears some nice, you know, jerseys. So this is a Swingman. This is an Adidas uh, New Orleans home Swingman jersey for Chris Paul. But I do have some authentics for him. For the Hornets, they went through a time they had the, the Hugo, Hugo there on, on the floor to leave. They had that on the front of their jersey for a time. And this is the, the home version, CP3. Very detailed jersey. I like the H on there. You know, the Hugo, very nice. You don't see it too often. Uh, the version that Mitchell Ness did, they had the OKC patch on there. But I do think it'd be cool if they did one with the Hugo on the on the on the on the front. Adidas again, authentic. The Hugo on the front. New Orleans, Paul three. You know, like I said, you don't see these too often, so. This one, this one really pops the gold one. You go again. I know the lighting isn't the greatest in here, so. Paul three. Um, and I'm a sucker for this kind of thing, the captaincy. I just really like that. I can't find the home version of it, but 
There it is. And he actually, they had a NOLA one, the gold, the yellow NOLA one, and he had a Captain C on there too. I can never find that one. But I found this one, the road version. Yeah, this is like the last version he wore before he went to uh, uh, the Clippers. And we got the Reebok Authentic White Chocolate Memphis Grizzlies. J. William, J. Uh, Jason Williams. Really like this. I know Mitchell Ness did the uh, did the road version with the uh, the ribbon, the 911 ribbon. I didn't get that one because I do have the Authentic in it. I don't have the ribbon for it, but maybe someday I will. I'd kind of like to get it on the uh, the white one too. 9-11 ribbon now here's my version this is the authentic that Mitchell Ness made uh, the 2001 version with the ribbon but I like the little bear claw there in the front and you see it on the back too Williams very nice jersey and that's definitely a head turner um I got a finals. Big Ben Wallace, Detroit Pistons. Shout out to Big Baby. Everyone holding it down in Motor City. Finals, Ben Wallace. The only one Mitchell and Ness have done so far has been the, the, the swingman line of these. But they, of course, didn't have the, the finals patch on there. But I have an authentic with the patch. Shout out to, uh, um, to NBA Threads. Um, uh, he got the uh, the Mitchell Ness version. This is the authentic Tracy McGrady. I want the home version too with the stars. It's got the stars supplemented on there. This is the uh, this is the authentic. So that's why I didn't have to get the Mitchell Ness one. So I have the authentic champion dual tagged. Nice trim, no stars, just they, they go crazy on there. Supplement it in there. T Mac, of course. McGrady. Vintage, champion, authentic. Like I said, I want the home one too. To have the set. Um, and again, with the captaincy. Throwback Orlando with the captaincy on there. Tracy McGrady. Some people might see this and think it's Penny Hardaway. Like when you first see it, you know, I, you know, might not even think of the captain C on there, but McGrady. <laughs> but this is a uh, Reebok Authentic, and the previous owner had the C customed on there. So, you know, that 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 like I said, man, that's the type, I love that type of thing. I love the captain C, something a little different on the jersey. Mikey Authentic, uh, the silver alternate, big fundamental, Tim Duncan, right there. And this one, this next one, shout out to, uh, Shout out to Leon and all the Raptor fans out there. This is my favorite Vince Carter in the collection. Authentic white home with the 911 ribbon. Both the American flag and Canadian flag on there. Very cool. Nice touch. Of course, shout out to Vince. Retired. Great future Hall of Fame career. Carter 15. Uh, this is a... This is a Nike. I want to say it's a dry fit. I'm not the biggest expert with authentics, but I believe this is a dry fit. Nike. Jock Tay. Yeah. Raptors logo and all in there. But uh, I mean that that the, the 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 ribbon that that that's what sold me that, for the jersey. I mean the jersey's nice, but that ribbon, that's something you don't see every day with Vince Carter jerseys.
Of course, I had to get this one you know, some time back. Authentic Mighty Mouse, Damon Stoudemire, Dino jersey right there. The whole, the uh, the road. This is a Nike Authentic. Nike Authentic. Main man. <laughs> and like I said, there's only one Mitchell Ness jersey on this rack. And it's the swing man that Mitchell Ness made for Damon. I had to get it. I don't need the white one. I don't need the home white one because Candyman is wh whipping that one up for me. But uh, the uh, <laughs> but I did get the Mitchell. I had to at least get one Mitchell Ness, Damon Stoudemire, you know, in the collection. So I got that one. Uh, now this is a Adidas Soul Swingman T Mac. Mitchell and Ness made this too, but you know I've had this. This is actually my first Raptors Tracy McGrady I ever owned, so you know generically done. You know it's the Soul Swingman version, but I got this years ago. Purple Dino jersey. We're getting there. <laughs> And of course, the dunk contest. This is what I always think of this jersey as the dunk contest. Nike Swingman, Vince Carter. I know Mitchell and Ness made their version of it. And I do want to get the authentic that they did of it, but, you know, I got this one at least in the collection as, as we stand. And I, I got this one before I got the authentic, but the Swingman Nike home version. Insanity. Now Mitchell Ness made a Ray Allen Bucks, purple Bucks, but I got this one the Nike uh, Swingman. Mr. Jesus Shuttleworth, Ray Allen. I don't have any authentics in these, but I got the swing man. I had to get these Iverson. Just, you know, having the collection. Denver Nuggets. I mean, he, he'll come on. It'll always be a sixer, you know. Hall of Fame, he's a sixer. Banner's up with his number retired, Wells Fargo. He's a sixer, but I know he spent some years elsewhere, but yeah. But I did get this Swingman Nuggets home version. And the road version, just to have them in the collection. I do want the black one too, the alt black one that they wore. That was a little tricky to get, but I don't think I'll ever get as pissed in serious <laughs> Grizzlies when he was there for like a week or whatever. I, I don't think I'll be doing that, but I, I do have a couple nuggets. And of course, mainly Sixers and Georgetown. Shout again to Rez, to Rez and Dub Nation, J. Rich, alternate orange. Warriors, Swingman, another one I got from the Ramirez boys bit back. We're getting there. Oh. Ah, Swingman, Ray Ray. Miami Heat, Adidas Swingman. Uh, championship with Miami, of course. I'm actually getting a custom version of this done by Candyman, but this is uh, um, the uh, the Swingman version of the, th of the Throwback Cavs orange version. LeBron James, King James, of course. Um, nice jersey, even for a Swingman. 
but like I said, I'm getting the as close to the authentic as you can get from the Candyman. So I look forward to that. But these are nice, you know. These Swingmans, I don't hate on the Swingman jerseys, even though mainly what I have is authentic and whatnot. But not a hater in that category with the Swingman. Now this one is still a little project one for me because I want to get the anniversary. Cavs logo uh, patch to put over the Adidas logo. It's a swing man, but it's the blue version of King James, his uh, Cavs, the throwback they wore that year, but they wore the anniversary year. So I want to put it on there. So just to you know, spice it up a little more. Um, I think it will pop even more just on that blue. I think it's going to look really good. But um, yeah, these are nice. I, I always like these Cavs jerseys. So, you know, when the Cavs wore these years ago, I thought it was a good look. And obviously, you know, you can't go wrong with a LeBron in the throwback jerseys. Speaking of those Cavs jerseys, this is a Soul Man, uh, Soul Swing Man, rather, Mark Price. Shout out to uh, Nostalgia Boy. I know he's a Cavs guy. Uh, Mitchell and Ness made these, but um, I got this one. Adidas Soul Swing Man, K KD Rookie Alt Sonics, the gold. I really like the gold one. I do want to get the Mitchell and Ness one someday, but, you know, I got this. Someday, maybe I'll get the Mitchell and Ness, but in the authentic form. Pretty crazy one. You don't see this one too often. Another Soul Swing Man. Number three, there's the Fireball. Rex Chapman, sharpshooter. Back in the day. Very nice jersey. You can't go wrong with Fireball, particularly in the purple. That's just, it's one of my favorites. Uh, the Fireball purple is, is, is one of my favorites too, as far as NBA designs. Another sharpshooter, Indiana Pacers, 45, Chuck Person, the Rifleman. And that's another one you don't see very often. Indiana Pacers, same style, same everything, the Road Pacers, but... Clark Kellogg. Here's his Pacers jersey. Another sharpshooter. You saw his Hornets jersey earlier. Here's the Miami Heat. Glenn Rice, Soul Swing Man. This this is another jersey that I love. The the old style. These these Heat jerseys from this time period. The white jersey. Oh, I love that. I got the Alonzo Morning Mitchell and S did. I just, I've always liked the way that look on the white jersey. And the trim and everything just pops on the white one. And staying with the heat. Killer crossover, Tim Hardaway. You tap two step. The red alt heat jersey, which I really like too. Can't go wrong with any of those old heat jerseys, you know? Another uh, style I like the purple Utah Jazz, John Stockton, Soul Swing Man. And stop me if you've heard this before. Another style I've always liked. You know, I got the Mitchell Ness version, but this was my first ever Dominique jersey. So, you know, I got to keep it in the collection. The Soul Swing Man, McDonald's colorway, Atlanta Hawks. This this is still, you know, one of my favorites. And, you know, <laughs> same kind of like what it was with the Sonics. You got that kind of little design going there. <laughs> so the Hawks and Sonics back then had sim somewhat similar looking... Uh, uh, designs, but you know, very you know, a uh, uh, different per team. But the, the of course the the font was certainly different in the letters and numbers. 
but just kind of, it's not as arced, but it's got a little arc to it. <laughs> oh my, we have reached the end. Last one, Vancouver Grizzlies, Mike Bibby. Fin it rounds off the set here. This is another Adidas hardwood classics, of course, before Mitchell nested theirs, of which I have the home version. So, Mr. Bibby, whose father actually uh, played as a sixer for a bit. Henry Bibby. Ah, all right, everyone. I got you know, to towel off a bit. Another 55 minutes plus of joy. <laughs> Again, this is uh, most of, it's not all. There's ones here I didn't show because I want to show a little later. Uh, most of the non Mitchell and Ness, authentic swingman, college, you know, what have you. You've seen them now. There'll be others later. So thank you all for joining in on this extravaganza of, of thread uh, <laughs> with numbers and letters on them. Yes, I, I, as you know, I have a passion for this stuff. So it doesn't end at Mitchell Ness. There's, there's others. And just kind of share with you that, yeah, there are others here in the collection, not by Mitchell Ness. Um, of course, I do, you know, have some, rep, have some uh, replica. I have some authentics, not a lot, but some. Uh, and, of course, the, the custom stuff. That There's a decent amount being, being done as we speak. Never ends. <laughs> you think it does? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but thank you all for joining in and uh, sharing this this hour with me. <laughs> uh, hey, I have a lot to show, so you know I got through it. And uh, you know, as far as the collection goes, I still want to do the Curry collection, and I'm thinking that might be the next one that I share. And then there's other stuff, too. I still have to show the, the Philly stuff, of course, that I have. I have hockey and, you know, other various things. So, you know, and then, of course, the, the custom, the, the Candyman specials. You'll be seeing those <laughs> at some point, maybe before the end of the year or early next year. You know, like I said, stuff's being worked on. Stuff's being created in the factory. <laughs> so we'll get there. We'll get them. And then, believe me, oof. I, there's going to be a lot of people be like, where did you get that? Like, all right. All right. <laughs> um, but yes, thanks again, as always, for watching. And if you enjoyed the content, and I hope you did, I sweat it out for you guys again and gals out there. Okay. Please hit the like button, of course, and make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. And hit the bell icon to get notified whenever yours truly is back making my wonderful videos for jerseys, for season of the fan, for who knows what. But <laughs> so you get notified. And that is it. You all stay safe out there. I want to give a special shout out to King Leonidas who really um, just killed it with that Jordan collection. The jerseys, the... You know, the, the hats, of course. The, you know, you know I appreciate it. I'm not wearing a hat right now because... I've learned not to wear hats in these videos because it, it just, eh, just, it, it, like, I take it off and I just have to, it, it's like coming in and out of the rain. <laughs> Shake out the hat. And, of course, all those jackets and all that stuff, just crazy. I actually, if I may, so I know he, he brought this up in that video. And just so you know. Oh, now you got now you got me going into the bulls closet. All right, here we go. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. He brought up he he said he had he he had the champion uh, home version of this. I have the champion road version, <laughs> and this is the original. This is the original champion, and you see that in there. That yeah. The, the breakaway pants are still there. <laughs> I don't think this fits me anymore. But I got this back in the 90s. This, this was a Christmas gift from my dad back in the day. Of course, just Bulls crazy. And MJ and Pippen and all those great players. But So this is the original champion. This isn't the Mitchell Ness. This is the champion one. 
from uh, from that time period. And you know, you talk about the uh, the Last Dance and everything, and you know, such a great documentary. And it just brought back the memories. I think the Champion logo is on here somewhere, but anyway, <laughs> trust me. It, yeah, here it is. So there the <laughs> there it is. And I have to dig this out. So just give me it. I have to dig this out. It's a little further back there, but. Now I do have, I I do have the um, oh I do have the Mitchell and Ness version for the home shoot around jacket from that time period. But this one, uh, this one was from the later. This was from a little later in their in their time. Um, so what was this ninety? I think this was ninety six when they won the first of their second three peat. But this is the this is the original champion. Shoot around. I know King Lee and I just got the Mitchell and Ness and they did a really nice job representing this one. I kind of wish Mitchell and Ness made like the whole set because so many teams wore such, these are shoot around shirts and they just, they all wore nice ones. And the only one that they did was the Bulls, obvious for obvious reasons. And then they did Co the, the Lakers one for Kobe. But the other teams that wore it, that, that when every team wore it, and there's just some really nice ones out there. Um, that will fetch you an arm and a leg if you see them on eBay these days. But if Mitchell and Ness did them, I think that would be nice. I think they would be sellers for them. So this is the original champion. Shoot around bulls. Yeah. I don't have as much as King Leonidas does for the, <laughs> the shoot around jackets and all. But these are the authentics. These are the originals. So... You know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not showing them to say there's anything wrong with the Mitchell Ness versions. They're awesome. They do as good a job depicting these original runs as any company's ever going to do. But it just kind of reminds, it just set that little thing off and like, oh yeah, I got those. I got the, I'm, let, let me share them in the next video just to, you know, just to throw them out there. Cause I, you know, like I said, man, I, you know, the Bulls, uh, yeah, I definitely have a soft spot for being a Sixers fan that I am. I still you know, those Bulls teams back then meant a lot to me, so, and Jordan and everything, so, um, just wanted to share those real quick, in fact, I'll put this back here, hopefully the rack doesn't fall over, all right, there it is, you know what, I, it, the front is nice, but that bowl on the back, oh, oh, any, <laughs> brings back the memories, so, uh, but shout out to him, check out that video that he posted, his Michael Jordan jersey jacket hat shorts collection now i have some of the shorts but i do prefer the swingman with the pockets and i know king lee and i said he had the pockets tailored onto the jerseys the authentics or the shorts rather the authentics yeah i i, I need those pockets man because i need somewhere to put the wallet the keys the phone you know the essentials of life and i understand why they don't put pockets on the authentics and wear them on the court with them but it's like but it's kind of a necessity. <laughs> but I like them. I don't have as many uh, uh, shorts that you do. But I, I have a few. I have a few of the All Star and a few of the, you know, a few of the Bulls shorts, you know, to go with the jerseys. One of the shorts actually came with the jersey off eBay, the authentic pinstripe. So that was that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> so I'm dripping here. So, again, thank you all for watching. You all take care. King Leonidas, great job on that Jordan collection. The shoes, I'm sure, are crazy. I, I can't, I can't, I, if, if I tried to collect, it, I don't even know what, what I would do. I, I really, I have no idea where I would store them. I have no idea how I could keep paying bills. Because <laughs> the jersey and the hat game, uh, that, yeah, it, it, it puts a dent into the wallet. So I don't know if I could do the shoes. Certain shoes I will get. I will get to go with some jerseys. Uh, I do have a few Jordans. Not like the, you know, the, you know, whatever. You know, the more the just the Jordan brand ones. Not like, you know, the big time, big time ones. Although the I, the, the first ones, oh, the, 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 those are probably, and, and they, they did so many different representations of those, anniversary this, anniversary that of those, but the, the first ones that he wore, that, that style, that's probably, if I could ever have one just, you know, big time Jordan shoe, it would be that one. 
you know, kind of like the bread ones and stuff like that. That one in the, in the black and red and white colorway, that's my favorite all-time Jordan shoe. And I, I never did get it, and I don't have it today. But if I were to get a pair, that would be the one. That would be the one that I'd want to get. And I know it's like the most popular, so... <laughs> The prices for those are pretty up there. I've, I've looked. Not like every day, but I've... <laughs> I've looked around at times. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I enjoy sneakers. I, 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 I mean, you sneakerheads are just... I love the passion, you know, that you all bring to it. Just like what I do with the jerseys and the hats and such. But... I mean, I don't think, I, I just, I don't know how, if, if I were to try to get sneakers for every jersey in my collection, that, I, I don't think, I just don't think there's any way possible. <laughs> I would need to build another, like, floor or something for the house to store them all. There's no, there's nowhere I can store them now. But I do have a few. I have a few pair that I like. I got the questions finally in, in my collection. I have some Steph Curry's. I have... You know, like I said, a couple Jordans, um, um, you know, and, 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 and honestly, it's just, I'm not about the life. So I stick to what I know more than anything else. But if I can get a good pair to go with, you know, a jersey or two, you know, that's fine. But normally, I'm just looking for the jerseys and the hats. <laughs> people, people look down and, and they're going to see just regular shoes. <laughs> they're not going to see... Big time. Every now and then I might throw something on. But normally it's just shoes I'm comfortable in. I just wear those. I'm good. <laughs> I'm not about showing off my feet. <laughs> but this this part and the hat, when I'm wearing a hat, that's, that's easily what, where, where I go with it. But I appreciate it. Believe me. I, I know you guys are real serious and real, you know, passionate about it. And I love it. I do watch sneakerhead videos. I think they're great um, because anytime you have a passion for anything in collecting, it, you know, I, I can get behind it. I, you know, I I know what the life is because I live it every day <laughs> and I see it every day when I come up here. So, um, you know, I definitely appreciate it and I know what it is. But me, no, I, I, I just don't. My wallet's like, you, you're doing enough with me with these jerseys and hats. We're not getting in the shoes now. <laughs> But great stuff as always to you and great stuff to everyone. I know Throwback King's been out there. All these other people have been out there making these vids and, and keeping the community good here on, on, on YouTube. And that, that's a great thing, you know, because it's, uh, you know, it's something I know that's not what it used to be many years ago. But it's still a solid community and a proud community for, 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 for the love of uh, collecting of the jerseys and all and the, and the apparel that goes with them. <laughs> So keep doing your thing, everyone out there. And like I said, thanks for joining in here now an hour and eight minutes. I know my videos can be a little bit long, but I appreciate all of you. I really do. And I'm going to go for real now, for real, for real now. Okay. I'm going to get going. So you all take care. Be safe out there, everyone. Thanks for joining in again. I hope you all enjoyed this. There'll be more to come. You all take care. You all be safe. This is Mighty Fan. Peace. See you in the next one. I'm going to tell down. Bye. <laughs>